service call is freezer is running warm and um, as you can see we can see why it's running warm we only have about one fan running so let's open this up and see why this fan is not running all right so took the guard and the fan blade off i've got my meter leads hooked up right here i guess you would say it's l1 i got my other one hooked up to l2 and um got my meter set to votes and we're gonna just confirm and go through the emotions and confirm to make sure we have the power here so let's check it out we got 206 so we do have voltage here this motor should be running all right so I took the wire nuts loose and uh, see this one I got good good amount of wire coming out good scrans look at this all right so I just re-script my wires over here and um, checking ohms. Right now I have zero resistance OL indicating the motor is open. And uh, let's get this thing replaced. All right, so I got my motor out. This is the old motor here. I got my new motor installed on the bracket. And uh, it's gonna get back in there just like this. And uh, we're gonna put this back and uh, Let's test this baby out. All right, so I got my motor back in place. Let's just flip it on. Let's see if this thing turns. Let's see if it factor smoke comes out. Okay, baby, we're running. Look at that. So, all right, let's kill the power and let's put the fan blade on. Let's put this thing on. All right, so we're back on. Both fans running. Spinning in the correct rotation. Um, we got a little bit of ice on the coil. We're gonna run up to the roof. We're gonna put this thing through a defrost. All right, so let's check out our rat. Set point 33, 31, nice and tight. Our condenser, hair pressure is tight. Uh, let's check out our circuit right here is an alarm. Circuit 43, rack two. As you can see, set point is zero. We're at 24 degrees. All right, so the case is in defrost. Let's just check to see how the defrost is set up. It's electric heat. 45 minute duration with a 10 minute drill. All right, so we got to look for our contactor for the freezer circuit 43. That's basically these two here. If you look down below, it's labeled Electric defrost circuit 43, the evaporator fans for circuit 43. So our fans is de-energized. As you can see, that contactor there is not pulled in. The one to the left is. That's our electric heat. So let's see how many amps are we pulling. Whoa, wrong way. Let's flip it on. Point five amps. So our heat is working. We got amp draw. Uh, we, it's good to also go down at the case and check your elements too. Make sure all, all of them are firing up. But this is just a quick way to check. Everything's running. Look at that ice. That's your demand cooling. That's just cooling down the head of compressor. Sight glass at zero. One ball of oil, so it's good. Side glass flashes. Another low rack. So it's good, you know. Don't just always look at your problem. Look at the whole tree. My old boss says, don't just look at the apple. Look at the whole tree. All right, so we're doing a leak search up at the rack. Trying to see if we can pimp one as a leak. Around the suction trader, the ball valve, anywhere. We just want to find us a leak. All right, look like I see oil back here. Uh oh, we're getting the hit. We're getting the hit. What's that? Uh oh, found a leak. That's back down the um, hot gas ball valve. 
All right, let's do it what we got. We got a leaker. I just tightened up the ball valve. And uh, we're gonna test it out, see if it's still bubbling. All right. So far, we got it. Looks pretty good to me. All right, so leak repair. All right, so cases out of defrost and the temperature is dropping. Right now it's at 16, set point is zero. So we're doing fine even though the rack is low on gas.